Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and today it's time for another tag. <laughs> So yeah, it's September, but we're gonna forget about that and just think that it's still summer because heat, heat is bad. It's heat waves. It still feels like summer, so I'm gonna go with that. So today we are doing the 2022 Summer Book Bay tag. I think that was the right words in the right order. <laughs> Um, so this tag was created by MJ over at Reading This Life. Um, I actually saw her doing this tag um, and her intro to that video is kind of funny so you should go watch that if, you, if you're up for it. Um, but I was actually tagged by Nina from Wrestling With Books. Um, completely different direction there. Um, and her video is also great so you should go watch that you should just go follow both of their channels honestly actually nina has two channels go follow both of her channels and mj's channel this is getting confusing now so what do we say uh we just get into the uh the questions yeah 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 let's let's do it summer is a sexy time of year do you think reading is sexy share your thoughts hell yeah i think reading is sexy i mean watching someone read may not be the sexiest thing in the world but just like well yeah seeing someone reading that is kind of sexy because you know and it doesn't matter what they're reading as well. It's like you see that they are able to read. Does that make any sense? It sounds like I'm telling you that people who don't read are not sexy. Non-readers can be sexy too. Being a reader is very sexy. I don't know what that face was. Prompt number two, random meetings. What fictional character and or author would you enjoy meeting at a backyard party or a cookout? I think Rose Hathaway from the Vampire Academy series um, because I kind of feel like she's me in my ADHD moments. Although, would that mean there would be Strigoi gate crashes? Because no thanks. No thanks. As for authors i mean there's so many i would just love to meet but you know pick their brains and stuff but at the same time i'm such an introvert that when i meet new people i'm like so shy and awkward and uh, i would probably just end up sitting in a corner pretending not to exist yeah, and hoping no one would notice me there, honestly. <laughs> Awkward. Awkward. Prompt number three. Opposites attract. Name two characters from different books or genres you would love to see coupled or partnered up in a story. Okay, so... Bella from Twilight, either as a vampire or as a human, doesn't really matter. She's basically the same awkward idiot. Um, oh, and Rose from Vampire Academy, those two together would be so weird and possibly Rose would kill Bella, but then at the same time we would not have Bella and that would probably be great because Bella sucks. Yeah, 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 I don't like Bella. She's an idiot. Yeah, I also cannot think a, of a better or like more serious answer for this one. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Prompt number four, get outside. Do you enjoy reading outdoors? Yes and no. I don't like, you know, baking out in the sun because I would probably catch on fire. No. <laughs> Uh, but you know, in the shade, in a nice breeze, sure, sure, yeah, that, that's probably what I would go for. And it would probably end up being on my balcony because people are not there. 
Prompt number five, preference matters. What do you prefer for outdoor summertime reading? Physical book or e-reader? So I'm very much a physical book kind of gal. It's physical book all the way for me. I don't have an e-reader. The only like thing I can read an e-book on is either my phone or like my iPad and it's not the best. It's not the best. I do hear that I like proper e-readers, Kindles and whatever. Um, they are a bit better uh, in, as far as like the lighting for your eyes and stuff goes. Um, but I don't have one of those so I'm a physical but kind of gal. <laughs> Although it would mean that, well, it does mean that anytime I like go away somewhere, I have like five books with me because, yeah, I can choose one. How do you choose one? How? Tell me. Tell me. Teach me these ways. Prompt number six recommend a summertime read. I feel like any like Jenny Colgan book. Even the Christmas ones are very much summertime reads. They are, because they, most of them, well, the ones I've read anyway, they contain some kind of sweets or baking or book, something that just is that, that sweet, sweet summertime feel. Uh, she does write very good books, so go, go read some Jenny Colgan books. I do recommend. Why am I pointing my finger at you? This is very aggressive. <laughs> Prompt number seven. What is your favorite summertime beverage? So it used to be just water, plain old water. And the fact that I don't actually like the taste of water, that should tell you something. Um, but this year, um, so I've kind of just this year discovered that I actually enjoy the iced coffees um not all of them definitely not all of them i'm very like particular with my flavors i don't know why i'm very i'm a fussy drinker slash eater and you wouldn't expect that but i am um but yeah i found that i've like enjoy iced tea and iced coffee who knew but yeah now i can drink caffeine in the heat because <laughs> I'm very much a tea and coffee drinker like all the time and drinking hot beverages <laughs> in the heat is a killer prompt number eight where is your favorite vacation slash holiday destination so London is always my go-to place always 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 I'm very much a, like a city kind of a gal uh, why am I using gal a lot? This is my new word apparently. I'm a gal. <laughs> um, London is always my go-to place. It's like, I yeah, I can't spend enough time there, honestly. I should probably move there, shouldn't I? Will someone get me a very, very cheap but good place in London and I can just live there? Pretty please? No? Okay, then. Prompt number nine, recommend a book set in a unique or exotic location. So, let's see. <sighs> unique or exotic, that's hard. The only thing that like, comes to mind is um, I Heart Hawaii by Lindsay Kelk, and it's actually the eighth book in that series. So, <laughs> I mean, don't start with that one if you do. But, um, as the title suggests, they go to Hawaii and uh, they actually go to a, a cat sanctuary that is actually a cat sanctuary that exists in real life. And it's like, how can you not love a cat sanctuary in Hawaii of all places? Yes, I'm going to go with that. I, I am going to go with that. Although I would recommend starting with like I Heart, I Heart New York, which is the first book, rather than book number eight. I mean, you can read them in any order, but you get more of the story if you start with book one. <laughs> Prompt number 10. Have you ever asked a total stranger what they are reading or have given a book recommendation to a stranger in person? If yes, do you remember what it was? Oh no, oh no, no, no. 
I do not talk to people. <laughs> if I see someone reading and I don't know what they're reading, I'm just gonna have to wonder what they're reading for the rest of my life. I'm like, yeah, no, no, I, I do not go up to people. Um, big introvert, uh, big scaredy cat over here, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not in a million years would I walk up to someone and be like, hey, read this book. If I did, I would probably be drunk. Yeah. <laughs> People are scary, okay? Scary. Um, so the last two are recommend a book by booktuber under 100 subscribers and also name three booktube base to do this tag. Um, uh, I can't think of them on the top of my head and I've also not done the research as usual. So I'm going to pop down the links uh, to the under 100 subscribers down below and I'm going to tag the hell out of it and hope that everyone can get along. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. Um, I yeah, I'm 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 slightly cheating here. I'm so bad. I'm a terrible person. Okay, terrible. I don't do research. I really st should start like doing properly, but at the same time, the tags are just more fun to just do on top of top of my head. All right. Um, I'm sorry for my very lack of research of well i should be able to name some people shouldn't i i will i will put them down in this, this, this little description i will put them down in the description why can't i say that description description <sighs> anyways thank you so much for watching thank you nina for tagging me and thank you mj for making this tag and yeah uh, i'll see you all next time until then take care bye bye